Another thing I see all the time is pets being protective or not leaving their owner until they die. So the pet will either be consistently on the patient's bed, sometimes barking and growling if people try to come near the patient, or they'll be constantly sleeping underneath the bed, um, not necessarily barking or doing anything, but just never leaving that person's side sleeping next to them, sleeping under their bed, not leaving the room. And then also, like I said, sometimes pets are even protective. Uh, when I come in the room, they'll start barking, barking, barking because they're just really trying to protect and they're sensing that their owner really needs them. For me personally, I think it's amazing when I see the people's, the family's pet becoming part of the family. And as hospice, we are going into their home. So our hospice team is treating the whole family and that includes their pets. You know, we get close to the pets just like we get close to the family and the patients and the pets are part of that family and it's obvious. 